Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Unit 1 or Review, Introduction to Chemistry. So technically, your book that you guys have is Physical Science. We are going to be covering chemistry, physics, and lastly, biology. So the first part of this book is going to be chemistry-based. So the unit is Introduction to Chemistry. We are going to be covering multiple chapters. So by the end of the unit entirely, you will be able to identify the atomic structure, how the atomic mass of an element is determined, and how atomic mass units are defined. You are going to be able to describe how properties of elements change across a period of time. You're going to explore some outcomes of modern research in chemistry. Starting the chapter or the unit by chapter two, properties of matter. We are going to be talking about classifying matter, physical properties, and chemical properties. We are going to talk about in details about how can we classify matter, what are the difference between physical and chemical properties, take into consideration that this topic was mainly explained in grade six, revised in grade eight, and now we are going to talk about it again in grade nine. So those are basic chemical, chemistry-based knowledge that you guys have. To move to chapter four. Chapter four technically talks about the atomic structure. So what we're going to do is that we are going to study the atoms, we are going to study the structure of an atom and how it is different. We are also going to talk about the modern atomic theory. So technically, the modern atomic theory establishes the concept of atom and how they compose matter. So atoms consist of negatively charged electrons around a central nucleus composed of more massive positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons. So we are going to talk about who mainly proposed modern atomic theory, which is Sir chemist John Dalton. To chapter five, which is the periodic table. We are going to talk about organizing the elements the modern periodic table and the representative groups. We are going to talk about what is the periodic table, which is the periodic table, periodic table of elements, arranges the chemical elements into rows and columns. It is an organizing icon of chemistry and is widely used in physics and other sciences. So we are going to understand how each element is organized why it is organized that way and the characteristic of each and every element taking into consideration the rows and columns those elements were put in seven which is the chemical reaction we are going to be describing chemical reaction types of chemical reaction energy changes in reactions and reaction rates Firstly, we are going to start by understanding the concept of chemical reaction, which is technically means that I have bonds and they're going to be broken with their reactant molecules and new bonds are formed within product molecules in order to form a new substance. We're also going to talk about the basic concept of chemical reaction, which is technically a compound that interacts to produce new compounds, which technically are called the reactants, and newly formed compounds are called the products. A reaction can take place between two atoms or ions or molecules, and they form a new bond, and no atom is destroyed or created, but a new product is formed from reactants. We are also going to talk about chemical equations and we are going to talk about types of chemical reaction. We're going to talk about combustion reaction, decomposition, neutralization, redox, and precipitation. Each one has its own characteristics and its own way of happening and the properties of each one 
of them. We're also going to talk about the energy changes in a reaction. We have exothermic reaction, we have endothermic reaction. We are going to understand the difference between these reactions. We're also going to talk about the reaction rates, the factors that affect the reaction to be fast or slow. As you know that these projects are part of your assessments. So as you guys know that physical science is going to be again part chemistry, part physics, and part biology. And this was the So you are going to choose one element from the periodic table. You are going to research the history of that element, the discovery, who discovered that and how. You are going to give me a real life application of this element, of your chosen element. You are going to list down, discuss the properties of your chosen element. You are going to create a five to seven minute presentation on your findings. You're going to present this to your classmates. Take into consideration that we have plenty of elements, so the element should not be repeated among your classmates. And I want real life situation. Your presentations should be creative. Your presentation should be informative, clear, and with real life connection. I can't wait to see you during this unit. As I said before, that this unit is mainly talking about chemistry. All information was given in prior stages, but we are focusing more on the concept of chemistry as a whole by atoms, chemical and physical properties, the periodic table, and the chemical equations. Can't wait to see you, and I hope that you guys do good during this unit. Thank you so much.